Welcome to another edition of Anderson's Lodge Tackle Talk. Today, we're talking smallmouth bass. Great thing about smallmouth bass in our area is we're fishing eight different area lakes and there's smallmouth bass in each one of them. Now we're going to talk about the essential tools you should have in your kit to get you prepared for the smallmouth battle on your next trip with Anderson's Lodge. The first thing you want to do is put the right rod in your hand. Now we've got a couple options there. We carry a great line of St. Croix rods, spinning or bait casting, one piece or two piece. It's up to you and whichever you prefer. I like a six foot six to seven foot rod. I prefer a spinning rod. Some people use bait casters. We carry both, and in fact, St. Croix carries their own line of Mojo bass rods, a great bass-specific series. When you get that 6.8 rod, you want to pair it with the right reel. Now, we carry Shimano, and we recommend the Stratic. It's a higher-end combination, but it will not let you down out there. Of course, you don't have to go crazy. You can also start a little lower level. Start with the Fluger. Hey, it'll get the job done. When it comes to bait casting, we like the Mojo Bass Rods because they're specifically designed for smallmouth. And what's better than that? Pair that with a nice Shimano reel, the Shimano DC bait caster. It's a little smaller. You don't need to oversize it for smallmouth. And the DC, what does that stand for? Digital control. What does that mean? No backlashes ever. It's great. Now, as opposed to northern pike fishing, you don't need to use a leader, so we can get right to the line. Now, a couple different options again, braided or monofilament. I like to use monofilament myself. Eight to 10 pound mono gets a job done with smallmouth bass because you know what? No teeth. You stick your thumb in a smallmouth's mouth, you just feel sandpaper, unlike a northern pike. Here's a tip. Don't try and lip a northern pike. It'll cost you. Instead of mono, why not use braid? It's up to you. The great thing about braid is there's no stretch to the line. Uh, it's 10 pounds slick by PowerPro is a great line and you don't need to do overkill there again. Then let's talk about what we're gonna put on the other end of our line. A go-to standard bait is the jig. The jig gets to smallmouth no matter what depth they're at. Very versatile bait. And I like to use a marabou jig. Marabou jig. Just got a little bit of marabou on the end. Start light. We're going to target smallmouth starting in a foot of water down to 20 feet. So just adjust your weight accordingly. And you want to tip that marabou jig with a leech. A live leech works fantastic, but some lakes you can't use live bait or organic bait. So what do you do instead? A gulp leech works great, just tipped on here. Now, if you want to search for the smallmouth, because you're not right on top of them, you need to find them first. A rattle trap. Great bait. Rapala's rattle trap. Target all levels of the water column. And uh, you can hit them shallow, hit them deep, let this sink a little bit. And the bass really hone in on that rattle. Now, if they're a little finicky, you're having a little harder time, a great approach to try is the Wacky Rig. This is a weighted worm by Berkeley. It's a power bait line. Take that weighted worm, and you're gonna tip it on top of this wide gap weedless jig here. So you're gonna hook that right through the center of the worm and drop it down. You go through the weeds, target the bass. When they're a little tight-lipped, this can really turn them around. And if you really wanna have some fun, why not try the head and torpedo? Topwater bait, fantastic action. Nothing better than smallmouth jumping out of the water in the foggy morning, chasing these little torpedoes around. Lots of fun, the, my favorite. Anyway, you've got some great options there. Now, the other thing is color. You might be wondering about color. Well, here's a tip. You don't need to overdo it. You take one of each of these baits, in a bright color and double it up and do one in a dark color. Should have all your bases covered and you'll be set for a successful trip with us at Anderson's Lodge. 
So, we hope you enjoyed our video today on smallmouth bass. Be sure to check out our other videos on our other species. And be sure to like and subscribe to our channel and click that little bell at the bottom of the screen to be notified the next time we upload a video. Thanks for stopping by.